What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates workout with the magic circle. We're going to go ahead and get started just with a little bit of breathing, a little bit of a warm up to get us going. So you can come to a comfortable spot on your mat, whether that's cross-legged, legs out in front of you, doesn't matter to me. I want you to be comfy. Plant um, plant your sits bones down into the mat. Sorry, I've been teaching for so long. Sometimes I forget how to form a sentence. Bring your hands right to the tops of your legs. We'll start right here by taking a big inhale. I want you to fill your belly and your chest up with air. Maybe you lift the shoulders a little bit towards the ears. Big exhale. We drop the shoulders down and back. Let it all go. Good. Three more like that. Big inhale. We'll exhale. Drop things down and back. Good, two more, big inhale. And we'll exhale, drop down and back. Good, big inhale. Exhale, we'll drop the shoulders down and back. Good. Then I want you to grab onto your ring. We're gonna put the legs all the way out in front of us so your feet come about mat's distance apart. You'll flex your feet and then push the ring so it comes out in front of your chest. We'll take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall. You'll exhale, draw belly button to spine. You can put a little bit of pressure on that ring. You'll start to roll everything down to your mat, rolling down bone by bone so your head's elastic to touch down. And then once you get down there, you'll lift that ring all the way up overhead. We'll inhale here, and then you'll exhale, take the ring so it comes back up above your chest. You'll nod chin to chest, draw the belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, push into the backs of your heels, lift yourself all the way up. You come up inch by inch. Once you come up to seated, you take a big forward fold. We'll do that full roll down three more times, inhaling to sit up nice and tall. We'll exhale, drop belly button to spine, roll yourself back off of your hips, roll down through your spine inch by inch. Good, your head's the last thing to touch down. We'll lift that ring all the way up overhead. Big inhale. We'll exhale, take the arms above the chest, nod your chin to your chest, draw the belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, push into the backs of your heels, take yourself all the way up, and then take that big forward fold. Good, two more times. We inhale, sit up nice and tall. It's okay if you kind of slide around a little bit on your mat. We exhale, draw belly button to spine, roll yourself back off of your hips. So you come all the way down. You'll lift that ring all the way out overhead. Big inhale. And then we exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest, draw that belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, Good. sit up nice and tall, and then reach that ring forward one more time just to get some good articulation in the spine. Exhale, draw the belly button in, roll yourself all the way back. Good, we get all the way down. Your arms will lift all the way up overhead, taking a big inhale. We'll exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. We'll draw the belly button in. We push into the backs of the hips. You push into your backs of the heels. You come all the way up, take that big forward fold. And then once you've taken that fold, we're gonna roll ourselves so we come all the way down to our mat, taking your ring with you. We'll take the ring, you're gonna press it into the top of your left leg. From here, you wanna take your right hand behind your head, press the right tricep into the opposite part of the ring, and then take your left hand behind your head as well, pressing the left shoulder down into your mat. Now from here, we'll just start by taking little crunches, little presses into that ring. Exhale, you crunch up. Inhale, you bring it down. Crunch up. Take it down. Good. We'll do 10 more like that. 10. We'll go nine. This is eight. Seven. Six. Five four, three, two, and one. You're gonna press and hold. We'll lift the right knee so it comes up above the hip. And then I want you to inhale, push that right leg out. Exhale, squeeze onto the ring. Take the right knee back up above the hip. Inhale, push the right leg forward. Exhale, press into the ring. Pull the right knee back up above the hip. Maybe you can tap your right knee to the outside edge of that ring. Maybe not, let's do four more. Four, we'll go three. This is two, 
And last one, hold your right leg out. Now we'll take a big exhale. You'll lift that right leg so it comes up above the hip. You inhale, lower your right leg right back down. You keep crunching and holding that ring. So we're pulling from the bottom edge of the rib cage on the right side to the top of the hip on the left side. Good, let's do three more right here. Three. We'll go two. And last one. From here, we're gonna keep that right leg out in front of us. So shoot it out at your 45, wherever that is. I want you to take a big exhale. You're gonna lift your right leg up as you pass the ring from the right tricep into the left, opening up towards the right side. We'll inhale, lower the right leg down, swap the ring from right or left tricep to right. We lift the leg, we swap the ring. You lower. We'll lift, we swap, we lower, we lift, and that's when we swap. Okay, the tricky part is maintaining pressure onto the ring. Right, that's hard. Now we're getting into both side obliques for sure. Good. Okay, let's do two more each side. So that's gonna be two opening out to the left. This will be two to the right. We'll go last one opening to the left. And then we go last one opening out to the right. Good, with that last one, we'll just take everything in, take a breath, grab onto the ring. You can drop your knees side to side. Nice deep breath. And then we'll do that same thing over on the other side. So once you're ready, we reset the ring. It's gonna press into the top of your right leg. We'll lift that knee so it comes up above the hip and then take your left hand behind your head. We're gonna twist that left tricep so it presses into the outside pad of your ring. Right hand can come behind your head as well. We exhale, press into that ring. So you're pressing tricep to the thigh. Inhale, we release, we let it go. We do 10 more. We'll go nine, eight, seven, this is six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna hold that twist, hold that pressure on the ring, lift the left knee above the hip. You inhale, extend, you'll exhale, bend. Now, if you start to feel tension on your neck, you just let your neck drop down. You can keep pressing into the ring like that. Let's do four more, four, we'll go three, this is two, and last one, good, shoot that left leg up, we'll inhale lower, we exhale lift, same thing as the other side, you're still pressing into that ring, it's not crazy pressure, it's just a little bit of gentle pressure, four more, four, we'll go three, two, and last one, you're gonna lift the left leg up above the hip. We'll take a big exhale. You lower your leg as you swap that ring over into the right tricep. We exhale, lift that leg, swap the ring. Gets harder on the second side. Whew, a little bit of special maneuvering around. Everybody's favorite. Good, when that leg comes up above the hip, that's when we swap. Ouchie, this hurts. Let's do two more each side, two over on the right. We'll go two on the left. We go last one on the right and last one on the left. Good, and then we take everything in. Oh, you take a nice deep breath. Okay, from here we'll take the ring. You're gonna bring it right in between your legs above the ankles. We'll turn toes out, heels in just a little bit and then keep your hands right down by your sides. We're just gonna keep the legs up at 90. You give me 10 pulses on that ring. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna add in a crunch. So hands outside of the hips, peel up through the head, neck and shoulders, you go 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're gonna lower to just about 45, whatever that looks like for you. We go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, we're gonna do that all again. Lift the legs up to 90, lower the head. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We add in our crunch. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the legs to 45. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You lower everything down, grab onto that ring. You can hug your knees to your chest, rock a little bit from side to side, take a nice deep breath. Good. From here, the ring's gonna come into the heels of your hands. You'll reach your legs so they go all the way out in front of you. We're gonna do kind of like a teaser roll down combo. Okay, so we'll take a big exhale. We're gonna lift that ring so it comes up above our chest. We start to lift up through the upper body as we start to lift the legs and oh, look at you, you made it into a teaser. From here, we'll shift our weight down. So you're gonna lower your legs. You sit up nice and tall, pushing the ring so it comes up overhead. We'll exhale, draw belly button to spine. You lower the ring in front of your chest. As you lower, you start to lift your legs legs, roll yourself all the way down. Look at your legs. They're all the way up above your hips. Good. From here, we lower the legs just about to 45. We're going to push that ring so it comes up above our chest. Oh, look at you. You're in that teaser. You lower your legs, sit up nice and tall, lift the ring above your chest, lower it down, draw the belly button in. As you lower your legs, come with you. Use them as a counterbalance. Good. We can press into that ring as we exhale to lift the chest. We lift the legs, so you hold up in that teaser shape. Good, you lower the legs, lift the ring up overhead. Let the ring serve as a counterbalance. Let's do three more. Good, this is gonna be two. And last one, out. And we'll crunch all the way up. So you come up into that teaser one more time, lower the legs, lift the chest, sit up nice and tall. Good. From here, you lower that ring so it comes down in front of you. You take a breath, you reset. Okay, from here, we're gonna take the ring with us. We'll come up into a high kneeling position. So your knees are all the way down on the mat. We'll go about hips distance apart and then find a neutral. So you draw your belly button in towards your spine. You take a nice deep breath. From here, the ring comes in between the heels of your hands. We're gonna push that ring out in front of us. I want you to imagine you're holding on to a big beach ball. So think hug a tree arms. We'll take an inhale right here. You're gonna rotate through your torso towards the right side of your ring. We'll exhale, come back to center. Good, we're gonna inhale, rotate over towards the left. We exhale, come to center. Good, next time you rotate to the right, you give that ring a little squeeze. Come through center, give the ring a little squeeze. Good. We go to the left, little squeeze. We come through center, little squeeze. Good. Keep going like that. <sighs> Next time you come through center, you're going to add on. You go down, you go up, give that ring a little squeeze. You rotate, squeeze, center, down, up, and you squeeze. We go right and squeeze, center, down, up, and squeeze, we go left and squeeze, ouch. We're gonna go two more times, rotating to the right. Two to the left. One to the right. It's okay if this squeeze becomes smaller and smaller. I get to a point that I can't even squeeze on the ring anymore. One to the left. And we'll come through center. We're just gonna keep doing this. You pull the elbows in as you sit back. You push that ring forward, give it a squeeze as you come back up into that high kneel. Let's do four more. We'll go two. And last one, you're gonna press up, you hold it there, you give me 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You're going to sit hips to heels. Hinge forward from your hips. Tuck those elbows in nice and tight. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Sit everything up. You're going to take your ring with you. We'll come down into an all fours position. So your hands are gonna come down. Positioning the ring is gonna require a little bit of maneuvering. So eventually our hands are gonna get down, but we'll start um, setting up the ring. So I want you to take the ring. You're gonna put it just above your heel on that right leg, so behind, behind the leg. And then the other pad of your ring, it's gonna press right into your underbutt, okay? Once you get the ring there, you give it a good squeeze. We'll take the hands down to the mat. We'll take an exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower. Now you can't move that much because the ring will pop out. We'll do five more than we hold at the top. Five, we'll go four, three, two, and one. You press up and hold, flex your foot. We squeeze in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you hold that tension, we pulse the leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You hold it there, you're gonna open up that knee. We pull in, press out, tiny movement. In and out for five more. Five, we go four, three, two and one you hold right there flex that foot we pulse 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 you hold that tension we pulse the knee up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one good bring everything down that one gets tricky because the ring is like, <laughs> it wants to move, it wants to slide around, so we have to stop it from doing that, okay? Take a deep breath before we hit the other side. We'll take a ring-assisted push-up. So the ring is gonna come right in between your little boobies. Or maybe they're not little, mine are little. Hands are gonna come to either side of your ring. You're gonna pop up onto your toes. We'll go for 10. 10. We go nine. We'll go eight. We go for seven. Six. Five. Four. Wah! Don't let the ring fall. We've got three more. My B for three. Two. And last one. Good. Take everything down. Knees can come down. You can press your hips back. Take that ring out for a second. Give yourself a good shake. A little shake out through the shoulders, a little shake out through the wrists. We've got that same stuff to do now on the left leg. So I'm going to flip around so you guys can see what's going on on the left side, but you can stay right where you're at. We'll reset our ring. This time it's going to come um, right behind your left leg. It's like right about where your like Achilles tendon is. Okay. And then we'll squeeze that ring in so that the other pad comes to, whew, it's gonna come right underneath your butt on that left side. Once you've got it there, hands come down to your mat, you flex your foot. We'll exhale, lift the leg up, inhale, take it back down. We lift, we lower. Of course, my music just decides to quit right when I get into the hard stuff. Five more, four, We'll go three, two, and last one. You hold right there, flex the foot. We pulse, ooh, for 10. My ring's gonna move on me. Okay, if your ring is gonna move, you just adjust it. Easy to do. Okay, we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh my God, three, two, and when my hamstring is cramping, hold that tension. You pulse up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one out. You open that hip up, keep the ring where it's at. We pull in and out. We pull in and out. It's tiny, in and out for five more. Five, four, we go three. Oh my gosh, two. And last one, we're gonna pull out and hold. We pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, out, oh, two, one. Hold that tension, pulse the knee up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take everything down, grab onto that ring. Oh my God. My left hamstring has been cramping like crazy. So that was not so fun for me. Okay, press hips to heels, reach your arms long in front of you. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> okay, we've got a little bit more here left to go. If you can even believe it, I know it's so hard to believe. I know you don't wanna believe it, but we're gonna do it. Okay, from here, we'll take that ring. We'll come down into a low kneel. So we go hips to heels, oh, knees out in front of you. And if you wanna sit cross-legged at any point, you go ahead, you sit cross-legged. That's cool with me. From here, we're gonna reach that ring so it goes up overhead. You're pressing in with the heels of your hands. We'll take an inhale. You're gonna bend your elbows towards me, lower that ring down so it comes around your head like a halo. Exhale, we press into that ring. You push your ring right back up. Lower and lift. We'll go lower. Whoo, and lift, good, for four more, four. We'll go three, this is two. And last one, hold right here, give me 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push the ring up overhead. Roll the shoulders down so you're squeezing into your lats for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend your elbows. Now we'll take a tricep press. So we bend the elbows, the ring comes back behind you. We extend the elbows, push that ring up overhead. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Now, even though we're low kneeling like this, your core is still working, your low body is still working, right? So don't lose sight of what's going on there. You draw belly button to spine. Good, think about finding length in your spine on every inhale. Good, four more, four, we'll go three, this is two, and last one, bend and hold, we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, oh, six, five, four, three, two, one, we press that ring up, again, 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and what could bring everything down one more thing to do i think i said that before that little arm series too but i mean it this time we're gonna take the ring we'll bring it right in between our inner thighs okay so set it up right there if it starts to feel uncomfortable you just readjust or you ditch it all together feet come down to your mat about hips distance apart we'll take an exhale you draw the hips up and under press up into a bridge inhale at the top exhale take it right back down we'll do that six more times and we hold up at the top we go six We'll go five, this is four, three, two, and one. You press up, you hold, you'll give me 10 pulses on the ring. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You give that ring a big squeeze, you pulse your hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to lift your, no, lower your hands down. We're gonna lower the hips down, lift the arms. Good, press the hips up, lower the arms. We'll do that four more times. Lower and lift. This is three. We'll go two. And last one. 
Good. Now we're going to lower the hips, lift the arms. You'll squeeze that ring, lift the knees up above the hips. Big exhale. We crunch up, pushing the hands outside of the hips. We'll inhale, lower down, stop the arms, lower the feet, press the hips up, lower the arms, squeeze onto that ring. Inhale, take it down. We lift the knees. We'll exhale, crunch up, inhale, take it down. Feet come down, hips press up. We'll do that three more times. And then we're going to pulse at every possible point. <laughs> So that's three. This is going to be two. Good. This is our last one. We'll do the full thing. Good. Now we're going to lower the feet. We lower the arms. You give me 10 pulses on that ring. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold and squeeze, 10 pulses in the hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We lower the hips, we lift the legs, we lift the arms. You crunch up, you give me 10 pulses on that ring. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, hold the tension, 10 pulses forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We take everything down, you grab onto that ring, you get to just toss it off to the side. Whew, we'll take a big deep breath right here, big inhale. I said inhale, then I exhaled. We're going to lift the arms up above the shoulders. You'll roll yourself all the way up. We're just going to take one big forward fold. And if you feel like you want a little bit of a longer stretch, I'm going to link some longer stretch videos up in the cards right now. Take a deep breath right here. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then when you're ready, go ahead and come all the way back up into a seated position. You can swing those legs around and you guys are finished. Remember, you are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist.